Hi, this is Alexis with TicketBus.com, and this is Ticket Talk. In a previous webisode of Ticket Talk, we discussed whether an officer can refuse to show you a radar or LIDAR gun. Uh, the answer to that was yes. And we also talked briefly about the difference between the two. This webisode will discuss in more detail how radar and LIDAR can vary. Radar has multiple beams that can pick up upon all moving objects in range, where it's supposed to pick up the speed of the fastest moving target. Outside interference can affect the radar, and it is generally less accurate from further away. In order for the officer to clock you, he'll need a clear line of sight, and there are certain conditions which are ideal for radar. For example, a flat and straight road is ideal because of the look past error. This error can occur when you're coming downhill and there are cars behind you. The officer aims the radar at your car, but the radar is actually picking up on the car behind you. For the officer to have a clear line of sight to your car, there needs to be clear weather conditions and a fairly light amount of traffic. So for example, if it is dark and there's a lot of traffic, you stand a better chance at arguing the officer didn't have a clear line of sight. Now you may wonder what the difference is between LIDAR and laser. Well, there actually is no difference, but generally if you receive a ticket from the CHP, the ticket will usually say LIDAR, and if you receive a ticket from, say, a local police officer, it will usually say LASER. LIDAR differs from razor, radar because the it has a narrow light beam rather than multiple radar waves. The officer can clock you in a shorter amount of time with LIDAR, however it doesn't matter how accurate the laser is if the officer doesn't have a clear line of sight to a reflective surface on your car. An easy target for the officer is your front license plate. So for example, if you're driving a car that is low to the ground and you're behind a tall truck, then you have a good chance to argue that the officer didn't have a clear line of sight, especially if he had to aim across several lanes of traffic to get to you. In future episodes of Ticket Talk, we'll continue to provide you with helpful tips and other relevant information related to traffic tickets issued in California. Remember that TicketBus.com can help you contest that speeding ticket, red light camera ticket, or other traffic infraction in the state of California. TicketBus.com has helped over 27,000 drivers contest their traffic tickets, and we can help you too. Go to our website at www.ticketbus.com. That's www.ticketbust.com. Or call us at 800-850-8038. That's 800-850-8038. And don't forget, at the end of each month, we'll be doing a special webisode where you, the viewer, can request a topic related to traffic tickets that you'd like to know more about. Each month, we'll draw a name and discuss a viewer-requested topic. So email, email us your name and topic you'd like to hear more about at info at ticketbus.com. That's info at ticketbus.com. Until next time, this is Alexis with ticketbus.com, and this is Ticket Talk, telling you to drive safely, and if you do get a traffic ticket, ticketbus.com is on your side.